Good morning, folks. What's going on? Good afternoon to some out there. It's the Earth Master here on this Wednesday, December 21st, 2022, winter solstice today. Shortest, uh, shortest day of the year as far as daylight goes. Still 24 hours, of course, in this day. Latest earthquake activity looks like a 1.3 into the area of Southern California. Uh, we have seen some earthquake activity kind of ramping up down along the um, uh, portions of the uh, Middle middle America Trench, also the West Coast area. Let's go ahead and check out uh, some activity around the USGS map here. Stand by for just a second. There we go. So we're still seeing aftershock activity uh, following yesterday's 6.4 event there in Northern California, uh, which has dropped off the map here due to, well, the 24 hour threshold. So about 49 aftershocks, but we're going to bring up all oh, the last seven days here of all magnitudes so we can get a little bit more official count uh, because the earthquake yesterday did strike pretty early in the morning, about 2.30 in the morning or so, 2.35 to be exact. I know because I was definitely woken up there by the early shake alert uh, warning system. 134 earthquakes, looks like, uh, for the most part, those all occurring uh, yesterday and around the 6.4 event time frame. Now the largest magnitude of course was the 6.4 occurring about 17 kilometers deep here uh, into the southern branch of the Cascadia, southern end of the Cascadia. A 4.9 um, occurred following that 6.4 just a few short minutes later and throughout the day yesterday we've seen a couple other fours overnight some threes as well and um, looks like there's been quite a few threes and of course quite a few twos and some other smaller quakes as well i'm pretty certain they haven't accounted for all of them uh, because looking at the um, map here at least the graph we've been watching the spikes pretty uh pretty often there there's been at least probably 10 or 15 uh, or more possibly uh, per hour there around the um, Eureka area. That's Petrolia here, the station monitoring activity around the region. Also, Dinsmore uh, is picking up some of that activity as we speak. Looks like one within the last hour, but as I just showed you there on the graph, there's definitely a lot more than uh, what's being accumulated here on this map. Now, there was a couple earthquakes here yesterday. I'm kind of curious about right up on the Cascadia Megathrust area, right at the subduction level. Uh, where it starts to subduct um, and I want to see here if these have been reviewed or not they're still sitting at automatic status so at least um, that one is some of these others just check one more 2.3 still automatic status that what that tells me there is that they have not been reviewed by a seismologist and uh, these locations here could be incorrect uh, they could be more centered around the epicenter of the 6.4 instead of around uh, well off to the west here at the uh, subduction level uh, of the Cascadia. So we'll wait uh, and see if they get those taken care of. Either way, activity is still continuing here along the west coast from uh, north to south pretty much. We did see some activity last night as well, 4.6, well off the coast of Oregon into uh, just north of the Blanco Fracture Zone. Uh, some activity kicking up around the Bay Area as well today. And that's kind of why I'm leaving up the earthquake watch uh, for the time being because we really haven't seen um, a relief of pressure out here along the West Coast. <clears throat> so the Bay Area earthquake uh, looks like a 3.1 near San Leandro, 4.2 kilometers on the Hayward Fault. This is another dangerous fault system here throughout the Bay Area. Um, a little bit of movement on the Calaveras Fault as well near San Jose. Not quite as big. But uh, this one here, 3.1. Looks like a few folks did report feeling this earthquake around the Bay Area. Uh, looks like maybe Concord, Berkeley, even down to the uh, possibly San Jose area. A few reports of some very light, like light shaking. All right, uh, let's see what else we got here across the area. A little bit of movement across the Sierra Nevadas. Southern California, not seeing a whole lot right now. Uh, 1.3, the latest earthquake there, but we do have some activity 
uh, further down south along the plate boundary. Uh, 5.2 off the coast of Mexico. This is still on the Pacific side here. Looks like a little activity up into the Idaho area uh, near Stanley, Idaho off the Sawtooth Fault System. 3.9 kicking up there. That will probably show up on the Yellowstone uh, thumbnail. So let me give a quick glance here, see what we've got going on at Yellowstone. Sometimes swarms kick up uh, when we see West Coast pressure activity. <clears throat> Doesn't look like it though, as um, far as the localized earthquake activity. Um, a couple earthquakes down here south, looks like around the Moose Creek, Idaho area. There's the three point, uh, the three pointer near Stanley that just kicked up here. But uh, there was a little bit of earthquake activity um, earlier last night, but no major movement, no major adjustment going on. There's that three pointer again showing up uh, from the 3.9 there near Stanley, Idaho, but on the uh, Yellowstone seismographs. The rest of the country, low activity throughout Texas, Oklahoma. Uh, one earthquake out here around Arkansas, looks like a 1.5 near Lynn, Arkansas. That was, um, looks like last night. And a little speck of an earthquake over here around the Georgia area, 1.3, coming in um, yesterday afternoon time period. So what do we got for westward pressure movement? We do have a little sign of some increasing activity out in our major watch zone. This is like one of our prime watch areas here uh, for some mega quake activity. It's been awfully quiet uh, in terms of any sufficient large scale movement in quite some time. Uh, and the Kurokam Chaka Trench has a, <clears throat> a pretty good slip rate, pretty uh, elevated here in the area. Highly elevated, uh, I should say. And that's where we're seeing a 5.0 come in within the last hour, 112 kilometers deep. Watch the levels upstream here for some possible movement. But uh, that's about it, though, as far as any newer activity goes. Um, these here from yesterday, they're in Afghanistan. We got one 5.3 here trying to backbuild around the Papua New Guinea area about 3 o'clock this morning. Not a whole lot going on further to the south along the Kermadec Trench. Looks like uh, this earthquake activity from yesterday. And let me see what the GeoNet servers are saying. Uh, yeah, I don't see any newer earthquakes here in the area of the New Zealand region. All those are darker color rings. And someone had a question here about the, uh, the bells here for the uh, Earthquake 3D program. They should be in tune with the magnitude. If not, um, that's kind of new to me. So I will look into that and find out what's going on. For example, if we got a 3.1 earthquake, it should ring three bells. And then accordingly, um, higher or lower on the magnitude, uh, those bells should uh, coincide with the uh, magnitude. So I'll keep a watch on that. I don't have my audio turned on on this side here. So um, it's kind of new to me, but I'll look into that and fix it. Uh, let's see what else we got. There's that 5.3. Low activity around the Philippine plate here today. Some threes scattered out and about south here throughout the Indonesia area. Uh, but that's about it here in this in that region. Uh, further to the west, we got a 3.1 coming in to the, let's see exactly where this is at, uh, Albania, 3.1 at 15 kilometers deep uh, for that earthquake. A couple twos and threes scattered out in this area today. It looks like uh, some newer movement indicating, indicated by the white rings. And but I still think the areas to watch right now <clears throat> uh, until we see some major westward pressure movement is areas of North American plate. We're starting to see that activity build up uh, along these adjacent plates as well, uh, further down south and the South America region Seeing a pretty good increase in activity today as well, with quite a few fours and some smaller quakes listed on the map. Now the USGS map here uh, shows a couple of those earthquakes, but uh, looks like there's definitely more uh, and some smaller quakes on, on the uh, globe. So 4.8, 4.6 being reported somewhat deep into the Peru Chile Trench today. South Sandwich Islands, way down south, 4.9. 
That one coming in yesterday. And over here in the Indian Ocean, got a uh, looks like a 4.9 and a 5.1, both of those from yesterday. <clears throat> So yeah, things still uh, definitely rocking and rolling out here along the West Coast. And um, we'll see how this day plays out. Uh, tremor last night. Don't believe we've seen any major uptick. Just about 23 epicenters of tremor into the Oregon area, just south of Eugene, into uh, a portion of the southern end of the Cascadia subduction zone. All right, uh, let's see. Let me go to Earthquakes Canada here. We'll kind of see what we got going on here. With the uptake in the Cascadia on the southern end, the northern end actually looks pretty quiet. Uh, not seeing any new quakes up here. Got one earthquake here in the purple circle near on, or in the uh, Ontario area, it looks like. 2.0, the latest earthquake there around Cat Lake. Aside from that, older movement across the past couple weeks there. Uh, to the uh, neighbors north of me in the beautiful um, Canada area. All right, space weather activity. I've uh, been kind of keeping an eye on a couple different sunspots here. 3169, 3171 is rotating into view of the Earth. Those look like the most likelihood of seeing some um, flares popping off. Check out this... Uh, feature here. I believe this is the most recent one. Yep. All right. So pretty good line of sunspots here. Um, although the dynamics here and the instability do not look super uh, supportive of some strong flares, there is a chance of at least seeing some, uh, some solar flare activity today, maybe in the coming days. Uh, current threat. I'm still waiting on Solar Ham to get their site fixed. Uh, I'm definitely not going to it uh, until it uh, it gets resolved. They've been having a little issue there with um, their traffic being redirected to some spam sites. So I'm going to wait. Uh, looks like threat level for an M flare remains around 30% chance. This was updated yesterday. It looks like 10% chance for for an uh, X flare, but I don't think it's going to be uh, highly likely uh, seeing any type of X flares. Current auroras look pretty uh, calm, minimal, looks at best minimal here. Not a whole lot of expected activity uh, unless we get some surprise event events, which sometimes uh, do happen. All right, guys, I'm going to jump off here. Um, and again, we'll keep an eye on things out here along the West Coast. So kind of uh, shaking a little bit. Uh, you know, we'll watch these uh, stations, Petrolia and Dinsmore, uh, for local activity here in Northern California. But uh, at the same time, we could start to see things west shift westward here uh, with the Curl Islands earthquake just coming in, 5.0. General movement here in this area should be picking up pretty uh, significantly because um, it's been quiet here over the past couple days as far as that uh, regional earthquake activity goes along these regions here. All right, guys, have a good day. Stay safe. Uh, got some rain coming in here to California. And I think back east, or at least in the center portion of the country, some major cold coming in. But, hey, that's about that's what winter is about all about. You know, get the fire going in the fireplace, make some hot cocoa, and uh, just, yeah, I mean, that's it's winter, because pretty soon, you guys are going to be baking out there, 90s and 100s, summer's right around the corner, I think, well, hopefully not, here in a couple months, a few months, hopefully, if we're lucky, either way, have a good day, folks, stay safe, we'll chat you guys a little bit later tonight.